makes you, you? Have you ever pondered the mysterious nature of consciousness? It's an enigma that has intrigued philosophers, psychologists and neuroscientists for centuries. Consciousness, our inner universe, a stream of thoughts, emotions and perceptions, remains one of the most complex and debated subjects in science. To unravel its mysteries, various theories have been proposed, each offering a unique lens to comprehend this intricate phenomenon. Today we'll delve into two such theories. The Integrated Information Theory, which likens consciousness to a complex, interconnected city, and the Global Workspace Theory, which portrays consciousness as a dynamic theatre production. Each theory provides a different perspective, focusing on diverse aspects of consciousness, from information integration to information accessibility. The interplay between these theories gives us a richer understanding of consciousness, yet leaves us with more questions than answers. So, are you ready to dive into the intricacies of these theories? Imagine your consciousness as a bustling, interconnected city where every alley, street and highway, every building, park and monument is part of a complex, unified system. This is the heart of Integrated Information Theory, or IIT, which views consciousness as emerging from the brain's ability to integrate information in a complex, unified way. In this city of consciousness, each district or brain region has its unique character and function, yet all are interconnected. They interact and influence each other, creating a cohesive, unified experience. The degree of integration across these areas represents the depth of consciousness. It's like a city where every part is connected, and changes in one area ripple through the entire system, influencing the city's overall state. IDUT sees consciousness as a fundamental property, something that emerges from the intricate web of connections in our brain. It's not just about the individual parts of the city, but about how well they're integrated. It's about the highways, bridges and tunnels that link everything together, allowing for a flow of information. The more integrated the city, the richer the consciousness. But how do we measure this? IIT proposes a specific mathematical approach to measure the level of integrated information, denoted as phi. This measure is thought to correlate directly with the level of consciousness. The higher the phi, the greater the degree of consciousness. Now what happens in a city where the integration is lacking? According to IIT, if a system lacks sufficient integration of information, it cannot be conscious. It draws a clear line between conscious and unconscious processing based on the level of integration. So, in the city of consciousness, it's all about how well different parts interact and integrate information. Like a city that thrives on its interconnectedness, consciousness, according to IIT, emerges from the complex, unified interactions across the brain's networks. It's about the depth and quality of these connections, where every change, every interaction, contributes to the overall state of consciousness. Now, visualize your consciousness as a grand theater production. In the Global Workspace Theory, or GWT, consciousness is akin to an elaborate theatre performance. Imagine a bustling stage with actors, props and spotlights. In this theatre of the mind, not every actor gets the limelight. Only the ones deemed important enough by the director, or in this case, attention and working memory, are brought into focus. GWT emphasises the accessibility of information. It suggests that consciousness results from the brain's ability to broadcast information from a specific area, our metaphorical stage, to other areas, the audience in the theatre. This theory underscores how information becomes conscious through attention and active memory, much like how an actor's performance is made visible through the spotlight. The role of networks in GWT isn't about the intrinsic property of the network itself. Instead, it concerns how specific information is selected and made available to the rest of the brain for processing. It's less about the interconnected web of city streets and more about the dynamics of the theatre production and the flow of actors on and off the stage. 
Unlike IIT, GWT doesn't propose a specific mathematical measure to quantify consciousness. Instead, it describes the process and conditions under which information enters the spotlight of consciousness. It's more about the narrative of the play than the architectural blueprint of the theatre. When it comes to understanding unconscious processes, GWT offers a nuanced perspective. It acknowledges that much of the brain's processing occurs backstage, outside of conscious awareness. Yet, these backstage processes can influence and be influenced by the actors in the spotlight on the stage. Through the theatre production metaphor, GWT illustrates how certain actors or mental processes are brought into the spotlight of consciousness, emphasizing the selective nature of conscious awareness. In this grand theatre of the mind, it's not about how intricate the set is, but about what information gets the spotlight. In the theatre of consciousness, it's all about what information gets the spotlight. These theories, while both compelling, offer distinct perspectives on consciousness. Integrated information theory underscores the degree of information integration across the brain, likening consciousness to a complex, interconnected city. It proposes a mathematical approach to measure consciousness and implies a stark distinction between conscious and unconscious processing based on the level of integration. On the other hand, global workspace theory centers on the accessibility of information, drawing parallels between consciousness and a theater production. It doesn't offer a quantitative measure, but describes the conditions under which information becomes conscious. This theory allows for a nuanced understanding of unconscious processes, suggesting that they can influence and be influenced by conscious awareness. Ultimately, while integrated information theory focuses on the quality of interconnectedness within the brain's networks, global workspace theory highlights the brain's ability to spotlight information across various areas. So, whether you're exploring the city or watching a theatre production, remember consciousness is a complex, fascinating phenomenon that we're still striving to understand.